Marcus Aurelius quotes. The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. Everything we hear is an opinion, not a fact. Everything we see is a perspective, not the truth. When thou art above measure angry, bethink thee how momentary is man's life. Dwell on the beauty of life. Watch the stars, and see yourself running with them. And thou wilt give thyself relief, if thou doest every act of thy life as if it were the last. Waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. Be one. Whatever the universal nature assigns to any man, at any time is for the good of that man, at that time. What springs from earth dissolves to earth again, and heaven-born things fly to their native seat. If you are distressed by anything external, the pain is not due to the thing itself, but to your estimate of it, and this you have the power to revoke at any moment. The universal order and the personal order are nothing but different expressions and manifestations of a common underlying principle. When you arise in the morning, think of what a privilege it is to be alive, to think, to enjoy, to love. The best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injury. Perhaps there are none more lazy or more truly ignorant than your everlasting readers. The soul becomes dyed with the color of its thoughts. Everything that exists is, in a manner the seed of that which will be. Accept the things to which fate binds you, and love the people with whom fate brings you together, but do so with all your heart. Each thing is of like form, from everlasting, and comes round again in its cycle. It is not death that a man should fear, but he should fear never beginning to live. A man should be upright, not be kept upright. Ever let the future disturb you. You will meet it, if you have to, with the same weapons of reason, which today arm you against the present. Let not your mind run on what you lack, as much as on what you have already. Our life is what our thoughts make it. Death, like birth, is a secret of nature. Whenever you are about to find fault with someone, ask yourself the following question, what fault of mine most nearly resembles the one I am about to criticize? Where a man can live, he can also live well. I have often wondered, how it is that every man loves himself, more than all the rest of men, but yet sets less value on his own opinion of himself than on the opinion of others. Despise not death, but welcome it, for nature wills it like all else. The object of life is, not to be on the side of the majority, but to escape finding oneself, in the ranks of the insane. We are too much accustomed to attribute, to a single cause that which is the product of several, and the majority of our controversies, come from that. If it is not right do not do it, if it is not true do not say it. To refrain from imitation is the best revenge. Very little is needed to make a happy life, it is all within yourself, in your way of thinking. Confine yourself to the present. The best revenge is not to be like your enemy. Be content with what you are, and wish not change, nor dread your last day, nor long for it. Reject your sense of injury and the injury itself disappears. To live happily is an inward power of the soul. How much more grievous 
are the consequences of anger than the causes of it. Execute every act of thy life as though it were thy last. Death is a release from the impressions of the senses, and from desires that make us their puppets, and from the vagaries of the mind, and from the hard service of the flesh. The first rule is to keep an untroubled spirit. The second is to look things in the face and know them for what they are. Do not act as if you were going to live 10,000 years. Death hangs over you. While you live, while it is in your power, be good. To understand the true quality of people, you must look into their minds and examine their pursuits and aversions. Here is a rule to remember in future, when anything tempts you to feel bitter, not this is misfortune, but to bear this worthily is good fortune. The art of living is more like wrestling than dancing. Look well into thyself, there is a source of strength, which will always spring up, if thou wilt always look. Adapt yourself to the things among which your lot has been cast, and love sincerely the fellow creatures with whom destiny has ordained that you shall live. How much time he gains who does not look to see what his neighbor says or does or thinks, but only at what he does himself, to make it just and holy. Men exist for the sake of one another. You are a little soul carrying about a corpse, as Epictetus used to say. Tomorrow is nothing, today is too late, the good lived yesterday. Thanks for watching.